Yes, welcome back to Inside PBC Boxing. Joining us now, the WBA World Lightweight Champion, Javante Davis. Good to see you. You are shining, man. That's Ooh. a lot of jewelry. Ooh. Give us a dollar amount. What are you wearing right now? Ooh. Uh, that's a cool guess by 1.2. Oof. Oof. Must be nice. Oof. Uh, yeah, uh, do you own houses as well, or is it, is it all in jewellery? You had a few houses on this <laughs> neck. <laughs> nice, good for you. Uh, listen, the last time we saw you, it was a 12-round TKO win over Yuriokas uh, Gamboa. Uh, you stepped up in weight, you beat a former champion. How did you feel about your performance? Were you happy with it? Um, I was I was happy with it. You know, um, first time at 35, fighting a, a veteran like Gamboa. They wrote him off, you know, leading up to the fight, but I always knew that, you know, some... Fighters, you know, they, they pick up their training, you know, according to who they fight. Just like when, you know, um, Zab fought um, Danny Garcia. You know, he everybody was fighting Zab Bob, but he came to fight. He put up a great fight uh, with Danny Garcia. So I thought um, he holds his own as a, as a champion and things like that. And I held my own as, you know, an up and rising star. Javante. You packed the house in ATL. It was electric. How packed was the after party? <laughs> <laughs> the after party was crazy. You know, um, just the whole atmosphere fighting in Atlanta. I always wanted to fight in, uh, in Atlanta. So um, I'm just grateful to, you know, be, uh, you know, that person that fought there, you know, in so much years, in so many years, like 21 years. You want to do so. it again? Yeah, I definitely. I want to make Atlanta like my home, Baltimore and Atlanta. Nice. Okay, let's talk about Atlanta, man. Of course, I was there. Yeah, yeah. We had a good time. Thank you for the support. Do, no problem. So, do you think Atlanta can be like a real boxing hub here in the future? Now, I mean, you put on a great show. You see how the city came out for you, and we had a great time. Do you think this can be a continuous thing right here in the boxing, in the boxing world? Yeah, I think um, Atlanta is, you know. Um, it's a great city, you know, sure. things like that. It, I think um, Atlanta support their people, you know. Um, they big Definitely, on support, yeah. you know. So I think it's, um, I think one of the, uh, um, what's his name? Holyfield? Yeah. From, you know, so yeah, they're from I think Atlanta. That Atlanta be big. I think I could, you yeah, know. For some reason, it seems like Atlanta, you know, when it comes to, you know, a lot of the fighters, or just a lot of big events. You know, mm -hmm. people in Atlanta, they definitely come out and show, and they definitely showed it the night for your fight. It came out in a big way, and you put on a you put on a hell of a show that night, too. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate Good it. Good stuff. Talk to us about weight, then, because you'd stepped up to 135. Is that where you see yourself now for the foreseeable future? Um, between 130, 135, you know, I can, you know, go up and down and things like that, probably for the next two years, I believe. So you're happy to keep kind of moving up and down between the two? Yes. Does that mean that Leo Santa Cruz is still a very realistic option for you? Um, I just want big names. Whoever, you know, my, my team, you know, decide for me to fight, I'm a fighter. I believe I had one of the best teams in boxing, so... Um, you don't feel like Leo Santa Cruz would be a defining fight for both you and him? Um, yes, you know, because he's, he's a big name. And also, he's, we want to say he's, uh, um, well, me, he's older than me. You know, so I say that he a veteran himself. So he been at this stage longer than me. I just been here for this is my first year. So. And you said you're happy to go up and down between the two weights. So you, you, you'd be happy to cut again. You have had some issues with with making weight in the past. You've missed it a couple of times. Do you feel like you're, you're disciplined enough with yourself? It, it, do you have a plan to kind of fix that and make sure you do always hit the weight? Um, it's always about it's when I miss weight. It's about. Um, that time period is never about you know me working hard and things like mm -hmm. that. I like the I don't like to stay at that low weight. So I, I train, and then um, I try to get the, the weight off at the last minute, mm -hmm. which I think that's will be hurting me, you know, because okay. I be having I, I just don't like to sit at that low weight for so long. I like to be, you know, um, you know, um, I want to say comfortable. Okay but very uncomfortable the last couple of days. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to put you on the spot now in what we are calling Empty the Tank. Uh, what we want is some quick answers to some Javante-centric questions that we're going to ask you to empty the tank on. You ready? Yes. All right, you rocked a, a Lamar Jackson jersey before beating Gamboa. Empty the Tank. Who is a bigger celebrity in Baltimore right now? Is it you or is it Lamar? Uh, <laughs> I'm from Baltimore, so I say me. All right, nice. Any, 
any percent? No, you're you're on board with that. Okay. All right. Uh, Tank, would you rather see the Ravens win the Super Bowl or you headline a pay per view? Uh, I'm not selfish, so I say I'd rather see the Ravens you know, win the Super Bowl. No one's Bowl. buying that. Oh, Nobody is <laughs> buying that at all. All right. Come on, man. Next up in round ten of the Gamboa fight, it looked like you were distracted by something at ringside, which allowed Gamboa <laughs> to land his best combo. Empty the tank. What or who maybe had caught your attention? Um, just me, you know, making a, um, a bad mistake, and you know, um, that's, that just showed that, you know. Uh, but what were you looking at? Were you looking at someone? I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> it had a lot going on in that crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know it had a lot going on in that crowd that night. You know, yeah. you had to be there to, you know, try to experience what was that going on in the crowd. I'm glad none of them shots didn't take me out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the only thing I was asking for. Okay, next question. You sold out fights now in Baltimore and Atlanta in the past six months. Empty the tank. Which city do you like more? What city I like more? Who you repping if you have to pick one? Be smart. Be of course, smart. I'm, I'm gonna pick the whole town, Baltimore. All right. There you go. Uh, we saw some video, by the way, of you being handcuffed uh, here in LA earlier on this week. Uh, you were smiling when it was happening. You didn't look too too distraught <laughs> about it. Empty the tank. What on earth happened? Um, someone that had that driver's license. I wasn't driving. I was just in the passenger seat. They shouldn't even put handcuffs on me, but they they put handcuffs on everybody that was in the car. Okay. All right. We'll take that one. <laughs> <She said okay. laughs> right. um, when do you want to fight next? When are we going to see you back in the ring? Uh, I'll fight next month if it was up to me. You know, so. Can you make weight next month? We saw you eating it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I'll fight. Nah. <laughs> I, got a, I got a question for you. So what you got to say to all the haters? Because, you know, after this last fight, you put on a great performance. Mm -hmm. You had a lot of, you had a lot of the, you know, like other fighters try to come at you. I've seen a lot of Twitter action mm -hmm. going on. And, of course, a lot of people, uh, they got your name in their mouth. So, mm -hmm. you know, what do you got to say to all the haters out there when it comes to, you know, fighters or just people that doubt or whatever the case may be? Um, I just say, you know, keep supporting me. I fight for y'all. <laughs> you know, uh, we, they watch the fight. They talking yeah. about it. So they definitely support me. If it's good support, bad support. There you go. At the end of the day, support. So there keep supporting go. me. You got their attention. All right, listen, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Have a blessed 2020. Yes, ma'am. Oh, man. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.